is Farmstead Living. I'm Karen. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make two recipes for second fermented kefir smoothies. When you second ferment kefir, it becomes so creamy and luscious and it tastes less tangy. So for those of you that are having a hard time um, getting your family to enjoy kefir, I highly recommend making these two kefir smoothie recipes. In our farmstead, we highly regard kefir for its health benefits. So every 24 hours, I make a quart of kefir using our raw Jersey milk and kefir grains. I find that making kefir is one of the easiest ways that I can add nutrient-dense fermented foods to my family, and making these second fermented kefir smoothies is just a great way to use kefir, and for those uh, members of your family that might not like the tanginess of kefir, they are sure to love these recipes. So the two recipes that I'm gonna share with you today, the first one is a second fermented peach smoothie, and the second one is a pineapple banana with coconut cream kefir smoothie. The first thing you'll need to do when making these kefir smoothies is you need to make sure that you have kefir. So every 24 hours, and I always uh, strain and start a new batch of kefir in the morning when I get up. I find that the easiest time of day, but I immediately make my smoothie right then. I do not refrigerate the kefir first. I just directly make the second fermented kefir smoothie while um, it's room temperature. So you can use store-bought kefir, but I highly recommend making your own kefir because it is super easy. You'll also need a blender. We're gonna use a Blendtec today, but you can use a Vitamix. You can use an immersion blender, but some kind of blender to, you know, like you would normally use to make a smoothie. To make these smoothie recipes, you're going to need fresh or frozen fruit. And today for our peach smoothie, we're going to use the peaches that we harvested from our orchard last summer. And we froze them so that we could make smoothies all winter. So look back at our video on how to freeze peaches. It is a really e easy method because we don't peel the peaches. So the ratio that I like to make in my second fermented kefir smoothie smoothies of kefir to fruit is I like to use around one cup of frozen fruit for every one cup of kefir. So you just use the amount that you like. If you like more or less, it will work in this recipe. While we're talking about making kefir for our second fermented kefir smoothies, please look back on all our videos about kefir and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of those videos. We may, we've been making kefir on our farmstead for many, many years, and we are always creating content about kefir. This recipe is really, really easy. Um, so on my Blendtec jar, it has uh, you know the cup measurements. So basically, I just put my frozen fruit in first, so I can see you know the measurement. And, and I like to use about you know I don't have these cut in slices; they're just in half. So I like to use about one peach per cup of kefir. Now, when I make the kefir, you know, I make a quart, but I end up somewhere between three and four cups of kefir. So you just kind of eyeball it, whatever you like. The color of this smoothie is so gorgeous. I'd like to give you a couple of tips uh, when you are using your blender. If you'll take your frozen fruit out of the freezer and maybe put it in your blender jar before you start making and straining your kefir, it you know really helps to let your fruit defrost just a little bit, especially since my peaches are in halves. 
but my blend tech has a smoothie setting so you know that's really helpful if you make a lot of smoothies you might want to invest in um, a machine that can make smoothies really easily and makes it convenient so our key for smoothie it is really really frothy of course my Jersey raw milk has lots of cream in it so it is really 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 pretty so take a look and what I like to do is I like to pour it into a ball canning jar, a half gallon. And that's what we'll do now. Look how beautiful. And look how much it made. Okay, I'll just put a lid. I'm not going to tighten it at all. I'm just going to set it. And I'm going to set my jar aside for around two to three hours. And here is our second fermented peach smoothie at two hours. It is really frothy and it has lots of bubbles. Our kefir smoothie has been fermenting for three hours and we are seeing some separation um, along the bottom of the jar. So what that means is we fermented it, you know, a little bit too long. I, um, you know, so around two hours is probably, it would have been, you know, really good to drink, but, uh, you know, checking it at one hour, two hours, and then maybe 30 minutes after the two hour mark. As with all fermented foods and all the sourdough recipes, you really, you know, it's all depends on your ambient temperature. So take that into account. But usually around two to three hours, this is January here in Texas, um, I can, you know, my fermented kefir smoothie is ready to drink for lunch. And then I will just put the lid, tighten the lid and put it in the refrigerator. And I'll usually drink it between one and two days. Now let me tell you what ha will happen if you let this ferment too long. It will separate and there is, you know, sugar in the fruit. And when you ferment sugar, you're going to get, you know, alcohol and an off taste and it also ferments really quickly. Now my products are very biodynamic, my raw milk, I grew my own peaches, we're organic. So my fermentations usually go a little faster than most people's, but as soon as you see froth and you see, you know, it looking really, really creamy, then it is ready to eat or put into the refrigerator to enjoy later. Okay, now to make our pineapple banana with coconut cream second fermented kefir smoothie. I'm going to use a whole banana, which is frozen. I keep my bananas frozen in the refrigerator because I live a really long way from a grocery store for organic bananas. I like to use around a cup of frozen pineapple chunks. And I like to add about a couple of tablespoons of Tropical Traditions coconut, coconut Cream, or you can just use the canned coconut cream, or you can leave it out completely, but it really makes it really uh, luscious and creamy. So we're going to add that to our blender jar with our quart of freshly made kefir. We're gonna blend it, and we're gonna use the same process that we used for our peach smoothie. We're going to pour it into a jar and we're going to set it aside to ferment for two to three hours and I'm going to have this for lunch and save the rest for later. I hope we've inspired you to make second fermented kefir smoothies. Not only are they delicious, but the nutrition has increased when you ferment your kefir for a second time. Please give our video a like and I hope we've educated you with instructions on how to make your smoothies and I hope this video will help you live a healthy, intentional life. From our Texas Hill Country Farmstead to you, have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.